This is a tutorial on how to enter lists into a TI-84 Plus CE calculator and then graph those lists in a scatter plot and then find the equation of a linear regression model. The first thing I'm going to start with is on your calculator here, if you want to be able to find Pearson's coefficient, you first actually need to hit the second function and go to this catalog which is number zero and you need to scroll down until you get to the D section and you need to turn on, just wait till I get there, you need to turn diagnostics on. This is not defaulted on on your calculator and you won't get the Pearson's coefficient as you're doing this if you don't do this. Once you've done that you hit enter again and it'll say that it's on. Now I've done that, let's have a look at our problem. We've got eight strawberry plants of the same variety were selected random and treated daily with a solution in which X grams of fertilizer was dissolved in a fixed quantity of water. The yield of strawberries was recorded in Y grams. What I'm gonna start by doing is to record the X quantities as a list into my calculator. To bring up that list, I first go to this stat button, which is just here and I want to edit my list. So I can either press one or enter. If you've got numbers already in the list, use your direction arrows to highlight the top of the list and you hit the clear and then the enter. And you do that for any list that you've got entered in here that you no longer wish to have. Once you've done that, if you use your direction keys to have it highlighted in these double dots or underlining dots, you now enter the values of your x's. So we'll start with 1, now I've entered the x list, I want to create a y list, I'm going to do that in list 2 here in the same way. Now, what I've done here is I've created both my X coordinates and my Y coordinates as two separate lists. Now I want to graph these lists. If you've used graphing in other ways before, you might have an equation here that's currently being graphed. You'll see that if this little equal sign here is black as it is now. To turn off graphing that equation, you move your cursor so it's flashing on that equal sign, you press the enter button and it will no longer be black. Once you've done this, you now need to tell the calculator to graph which lists you want to graph. Now if we come back to our lists, we know that the X is in list 1 and the Y's are in list 2. To create this graph, we'll need to go to the stat plot function which is in blue above the Y equals button. So you go second, stat plot. From here, we need to tell this that we're going to graph something. It will default as all three being off. In this case, I've currently got plot one on. But if we enter into plot one, you have the option to turn it on or off. We want it on here. If it's not on, you just hit the enter on the on. From here, we need to say what type of graph we want. As you can see, we've got scatter plots, line graphs, bar graphs or histograms, box and whisker plots, etc., etc. I'm wanting to graph this as a scatter plot, so just make sure that that's highlighted. It'll then ask what list is going to be their x values. Now, it'll default to list one being our x values, which is true. If it didn't uh, default to that, or you want to change which list is your x values, you go to the second function and that stat button above it is the list and you select which list the x values exist in. In this case it's list 1 for me so I'm going to leave it as 1. You do the same for the y list and once you've done that you can hit the graph function. Now I've already adjusted my view window to fit this parameter to graph this nicely. However you may need to adjust yours. To adjust your view window you hit the window button and you have a look at your x values that you had. In this case, my x values range from 1 through to 4.5. So I decided to graph mine from 0 through to 5. 
with a scale of 1. For my y values, they range from 390 all the way through to 770. So I decide to graph from 0 through to 1000 with a scale of 50. And that is how I've produced this graph here. Now that we can see the graph, we can see that we've got a relatively straight line relationship. It's not perfectly linear, but we're going to assume that it is for the purpose of this video. And we now are going to look at how we find the linear regression equation using this calculator. To find that, you hit the stat button to begin with. And instead of editing the list that we had before, you're actually going to move across to the calculator section using your right arrow key. And as you can see, we can calculate a range of different things. In this case, we want the linear regression model in the format of AX plus B. So you can either highlight the number 4 or press the number 4 and you'll come up with this screen. What it's now asking you is which list is the X values in? It's currently in list 1, so I'm going to leave it there. But if you need to change it, you hit the second and the list and you select which list it's under. You repeat for the Y list, and then you drop it down and hit the Calculate. From here, it will show you what the A and the B approximately are equal to, as well as our Pearson's coefficient and our R squared value. So our linear regression equation is Y equals AX plus B, which you might see sometimes written as y equals mx plus b, where m is your slope and c is your y-intercept. They are absolutely the same. So a is our slope, b is our y-intercept. Where a is approximately equal to 108, and b is approximately equal to 325. We also can see here that our Pearson's coefficient of r is approximately equal to 0 0.944 and our R squared value is approximately equal to 0 0.892. Now what you can see here with the Pearson's coefficient is there is a strong positive relationship but it's not extremely strong. But now we can represent our line of best fit so to speak or our linear regression model as an equation by substituting the A and the B value here. So our Y is going to be equal to 108 multiplied by X add 325. And that is how we put lists into a TI-84 plus CE calculator and find the equation of a linear regression model by using those lists. In the next video, I'm going to interpret what this A B and R squared value actually mean in the context to our problem here.